And there we are. That's that gate behind that Gatling gun that just like come up. The reason why I just cut it there is because you don't really want one to show me like backtracking and stuff. This is going to be a, a new part anyway. It's probably be uploaded at the weekend or most probably. Right now you're in here. This is like the sanctuary. The sanctuary. Whatever you like to call it. Jump down here. It's full of the way I go. It's a bit like a maze, but. That door is locked up there, so you've got to jump down here and backtrack a bit. Put Trot up to this bridge. to explore. In that hut there's a thing. Um, continue along here. Well, also watch out for that guy, he's a bit sneaky. Right. Go up here, jump down here, and that's that door unlocked. Use a herb. Go on here. And just continue along this back bit and upstairs. Okay, now you're in the room which you'll be familiar with straight away if you've seen my Let's Play of the Rain game. Let's kick this door in. There'll be a new gem up there. stuff there, keep this door in, explore this place because there's new ammo locations, go through here, right, that elevator has gone up because you can hear Leon, that's a gem you can pick it up before you can hook shop. Final cutscene is Never come up, so I clicked it so fast. Ada! <laughs> Don't well, even know this is. bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Okay, six enemies killed there. Let me get another log. Leon S. Kennedy, perhaps the most essential part of this mission. This story wouldn't be complete without him and his formidable survival skills. He has what it takes to survive against overwhelming odds. I've seen him do it before. And he's improved since then. Practically a genius. He has smarts and he knows how to use them. 
On top of that, his service as a government agent has toughened him up. I'll work behind the scenes to make him think he's the primary player here. Though it may be naive of me to think that'll be easy. Considering the involvement of both Sadler and Krauser, the possibility of unforeseen problems is there. But I need him in a supporting role for me to achieve my goals. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him in his place and make this all go smoothly. Of course, his role didn't exist at all until a few months ago. Back then, my role was much simpler too. But that was before the president's daughter was abducted and Leon was dispatched alone to find her. Talk about a major script revision. I don't think I need to worry. Leon's been through worse and always comes up smelling like roses. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. Okay. Is that a log? Say yes. Right, at the end of chapter four, I will be hopefully recording chapter five, which will be the last chapter tomorrow night. Plus, I'm actually hoping to have a guest on if my Skype's up to it, which it should be. It's been a while all week, so. I will see you then. See you next time.